真的，我就是真的。Hello guys, how's it going? And welcome back to a War Robot video. Yikes. Okay, I get it. You don't like PUBG, so no more of that stuff. Anyhow, in today's video, we're gonna test out Nucleon against Avenger and Viper. I know for a fact that many of you have Nucleon or will have one soon from the event chest. So I think it's about time for me to do this comparison. Basically what we're gonna do is the typical stuff that we do every test video. We're gonna have two robots in an old western standoff style. One bot standing still while the other do all the shooting. You know, the fun stuff. We will start from 500 meter then 400 meter and shoot our way down to 100 meter. But before we begin there are major important things that you should know. First. Our test subject is a Scorpion level 12 with last stand module, a typical pay to win robot you see in the battlefield every single day. We keep things realistic in this channel. Second, our weapons are all level 8, which according to Pixonic is the most optimal level for testing and showcasing robots and weapons. Thirdly, and our final note, is going to be about our strategy of how we gonna fire the Nucleon. We will not continuously fire cause Nucleon get heated over time and the more heat it gets the less accurate it becomes. So the best strategy is that we fire till the orange area then stop till it cool down then fire again. You see where I'm going with this? Alright, let's begin. Well guys, as you can see, Nucleon first first, then Viper. This is not a really surprise for me because I know the numbers of the accuracy, but you don't. So let me enlighten you while we wait for Avenger to do his thing. He's gonna take a long time. So, so how about I show you some statistics about these weapons accuracy. Let's begin with Nucleon. Below is the average percentage of projectile that hit an enemy robot if aimed directly at it in specific ranges. When not overheated, which is about 5 seconds or less of continuous firing, compared to being fully overheated, which is about 9 seconds or more of continuous firing. Take a look at the 500 meters range. It start off with 100% accuracy and that's really impressive and as the nucleon get overheated it comes down to one percent only that's why you need to be careful not to overheat your nucleon now take a second look at the 150 meters range do you see something interesting there yes even when nucleon is overheated it's still gonna get a hundred percent accuracy or less a bit a little bit less than a hundred percent accuracy but that's really interesting fact there now guys we got the numbers of accuracy for the viper at 500 meter by the way guys you may want to take a screenshot of this picture to use it as a reference later on at 500 meter range 64 percent of accuracy that's a mediocre number for a mediocre weapon I was expecting that it's not the worst but most definitely is not the best so there you go now it's time for Avenger Q 
keep in mind guys the below numbers is the average percentage of projectile out of 440 rounds that hit an enemy robot at 500 meters range avenger gets 17 percent accuracy that is horrible and explain why it taken so long to finish the enemy and it doesn't get better 450 meters 22 percent accuracy 400 29 350 37 it only get reasonable when it you when you hit 300 it gets 48 percent accuracy and in comparison it's not really good it's doing poorly for example viper it get 100 percent accuracy when you get close to the enemy 300 meters or less it just horrible all right guys from this point i'm gonna leave you and let you watch in peace i'm gonna come back at the conclusion part so make sure you watch it And now guys, we are at the final round and things looks good for the Avenger. In the round before this one, it was trying to keep up with both Viper and Nucleon. And in this one, for those who's rooting for it, I got the good news for you. Your boy, the Avenger, will win this round. Yes, he actually won one round out of five. The Nucleon won four of them and the Viper gets 
nothing. So, what did we learn? Nucleon is for sure the best weapon out of these three, and probably among the top 5 weapons in the game, or at least among the mid-range weapon. Viper is okay-ish weapon, even though it didn't win any round, but certainly was trying to keep up with the Nucleon. As for the Avenger, it received so many nerfs, to the point for you in order to get the most damage out of it, you need to treat it like a shotgun. That's pretty much sums up, sums up everything for the Avenger. Crazy. Thanks for watching and don't forget to sub and like this video if you enjoyed it. See you guys in the next one.